Yo, first team all Tuesday with the camera. This is like, this is brand new. This is a new thing. This is a new thing. My grandma made me like a little lunch, I guess. I'm not going to work today though, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I got me a pick. Fuck. Say little Sammy. Sammy? Little Sammy. It's Halloween. It's like a little candy. Um, normally I don't drink soda or anything like that, but we got a little pop action here. I'm going to have a chill day. It's, Halloween's one of my favorite days of the year. It's my favorite holiday of the year, if nothing else. And um, I'm just going to have a chill day, you know. I watched some uh, Hansel and Gretel last night and Gretel and Hansel. No one was okay. Um, kind of interesting. Kind of... Never mind. But um, we're gonna we're gonna just chill and have a chill day. I also wanna do some burpees and get get myself get myself flowing. You know what I mean? Um, I, I just made another video. I haven't made one of these in a long time. I don't know if I'm gonna get back to making Team Tuesdays every week or what. But if you don't know, on my second channel, I was doing uh, videos about like smoking and stuff like that. Now it's all legal stuff. It's nothing, you know, nothing bad. But I think I'm done, man. Um, seeing the people that do smoke all the time, they're like, yeah, we're always happy. Yeah, we're not lazy. We do this. It's like, bro, but when you guys don't smoke, you guys are mad as fuck. Even me, like, irritable. I, I just bought a vape today, and I just fucking threw everything out. I threw, like, basically everything out, pretty much. Because I'm done, man. I, I don't want to need anything. And I've always felt like that. I don't want to need anything. You know, yeah, maybe I'll try it. Okay, whatever, whatever. But I don't want to be like, oh, I need to have that again. I need to do that again. It's like, nah, bro. I just, I want to move on. You live and you learn, you know. Things might help you find yourself. But if they're not helping me find myself, I'm not going to use anything to escape or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like gaming and shit too. Like I've been on and off with that. I love it. It's great being in different universes like that, that you could never really be in and experience normally as like a human in today's world. You can go back in the cowboy days, you can go to the future days, you can go fantasy realm. That shit's crazy. That shit's dope. Or you can actually work to become something real. And I'd rather become something real. You know? Not that you can't, you know, do shit like that. Yeah, fine, sure, cool. It's awesome. You can meet new people all over the world and connect with them, and that's great. That's awesome. But we're at a time now where everybody doesn't connect anyway. They're all just toxic. They all hate each other. Like, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Fuck all that. I'm done. I'm done with that shit, man. That's the whole thing weed is supposed to do. It's supposed to make you feel good, but everybody's just talking shit on weed, playing video games, on alcohol, on coffee, on anything, man. So I'm done. I'm done. It's Halloween, man. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm done with that shit. I, I just need to be an artist. I need to start. I want to start sculpting. I want to start sculpting sculptures. I don't know. I want to start doing that someday. I think that should be sick. Um, I just, I want to make shit for other people. That's, you know what I mean? Gonna actually be something that they can look at and be like, wow, that's pretty sick. Or something like, uh, I don't know. I, I just want to make people feel good and make the world a better place rather than you know i still might be in the hemp and cannabis industry but i want to use it as like textiles not specifically like the smoking shit um it is a medicine i'm, I'm not going to deny that but medicines become drugs um i don't believe in addiction but i do believe in withdrawal so you got to be careful no matter what weed's like the weakest fucking thing and when you get off it like you get weird dreams, you get fucking irritable, you can lose weight because you lose appetite and you lose motivation, and I'm not that guy, bro, I'm fucking Sagittarius, I got this shit on my motherfucking face, boy, I gotta, I gotta keep moving, I don't got, I don't got time to sit around and worry about, you know, oh, I lost 50 bucks, like, fuck that, I'm throwing this shit out, it's not good for me, fuck it, it's gone, you know, if it's not something I carry on me every day, it's not something that's helping me out, it's not something, it's fucking gone, bye, see ya, so, I just want to come on here and say that, um, happy Halloween. It's fucking snowing out, of course, on Halloween. That fucking, I don't know. I, it's weird. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I don't really want to just sit here and, like, watch movies. But, like, I also haven't done that in a while. But then again, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to sit here and just talk too much. It's been a long time since I've come on here. A lot of things have fucking changed. 
as you guys know, every three months to me is like a year. So I'm constantly just changing and changing and changing. And I look back like six years ago and I'm like, damn, that was six years ago. To me, that feels like 30 years ago. Um, and then I talk to people from back then and they're still talking about the same shit. And it's like, like whoa, you haven't done anything, huh? <laughs> like, Not to like send shots at people, but it's like, it's like they said in the Marine Corps when I first joined, right? They were like, you're going to be in here. You're going to get through boot camp. You're going to become a Marine. Then you're going to go to the fleet. You're going to do all this shit. You're going to get out. People are still going to be doing the same shit. People are never going to change. But you took the steps. You stepped on those yellow footprints. Whatever. Not to get like super Marine Corps about it. But I'm someone who's always wanted to change and better myself. Not just for myself, but I want to better myself so one day I'm good enough to help everyone else. As, or as much as possible. And not just, like, the business world and make everyone money. No, the natural world, like, the natural order of the green fucking world. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to fuck it up. You know, all the batteries and shit from vaping and all that, whatever. Like, smoking just flower version of cannabis, that's one thing. But if you're, like, using batteries and you're throwing them out, that's actually fucking up the world. And it's actually fucking up, like, your bloodstream because you're taking that straight into your lungs it's fucking up you know what i'm saying like not the normal weed isn't either but i'm just saying it's one thing is a flower another thing is like a concentrate out of that flower same thing with tobacco and nicotine but tobacco in america is not the same as like like nice indian tobacco it's not the same thing and even then it's like even like i said in my other video sad guru will tell you not that his word is law or my word's law or whatever the fuck do whatever the fuck you want but i'm saying you know shit's bad for you right you know what's good and you know what's bad for you so if you know what's good for you you know what's bad for you stop making excuses is it good for you is it bad for you do you want to stop do you actually want to stop then just fucking stop that's it that's all it takes man energy drinks coffee tea if you want to stop drinking tea you want to stop drinking soda you want to stop eating fucking like shit you want to stop eating too much meat you want to stop eating pork you want to stop eating fucking sweets i don't normally eat fucking sweets this is all I'm gonna have for like the rest of the fucking year. Hopefully, shit, I don't know. I honestly like fruit. Fruit is my shit. I love fruit. I love fruit. But like, everything here now is like fucked up. Like everything's like, oh, we need bigger fruit. We need it to be more tasty. We need it to be softer. We're getting weaker because of that. We're, we're killing ourselves with like drugs and putting shit into our bodies that's not even natural and organic. And it does matter because People are like, oh, you're, you're weird. You only like organic stuff. You don't like doing this. You know, it's like, bro, I'm trying to have a clean body. I'm trying to have, I'm trying to be the best version of myself. I'm, I'm not a weirdo that's doing it because it's a fad. I'm doing it because it's better for me. It's better for the world. And I want to attract someone as a life partner who is like me. So if I'm here, I'm ruining my body, then I'm going to find someone who's ruining their body. Nah, fuck that. I want to find someone who's on top of their shit. She's she's on top of her shit. She knows what the fuck she's doing in life and what the fuck's good for her, what the fuck's bad for her. She cuts that shit out. Same with me. I cut that shit right out. So I, I don't, I don't want to go back to anything I was before. But I know where I've been and these things have helped me find who I am now. I'll say that. They, they have helped me out. But you need to know that cutoff point, right? That's what this video is about. Um, I pretty much said farewell on my second channel. It's actually, this is kind of my second, I don't know. Um, I have a lot of fucking channels actually. I'm making more now. I'm gonna make one for um, MMA type shit, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, maybe boxing, shit like that. I don't know. Uh, I prefer Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Uh, but I know a lot of boxers. My cousins are boxers. Um, wrestling is kind of cool too, uh, especially Greco-Roman. Um, I might even do like a kind of like, I don't want to say like religious channel, but just like a spiritual channel. It's like meditation, getting in, getting in touch with the world and the earth and just almost like Sky Life, right? Is that her name? Sky Life. She's fucking sick. Shout out to her. Um, she's kind of helped me on uh, a lot of this journey, actually. Um, big shout out to her, man. Big shout out to her and, and all the people she's talked to. Um, I haven't seen all of her shit, but pretty fucking cool. Um, love her videos. Um, of course, she's not perfect either, you know, but none of us are. No one no one should claim to be. I mean, like, sometimes you got to talk your shit, you know. Sometimes you got to feel good about yourself. Be like, man, I'm really the guy, you know what I mean? Or the lady or whatever. But, like, you really got to know. 
at the same time, like, no one's perfect. It is what it is, you know? But that doesn't mean you shouldn't better yourself. You're like, oh, I'm not perfect, but I'm just going to sit here and let myself fucking turn to fat ash. Ash, what? I don't know. But just, I don't know. I think you should be doing something to better yourself. That doesn't mean you need to figure out the best way to do 100 million things every single second of every single day. You need to just sit here and be like, what's good for me? You know, should I be drinking soda or should I be drinking like a little bit of orange juice and then water? And that's what I should be drinking. You know, should I be eating pork or like, no, because maybe one fucking the mafia uses pork to like <laughs> fucking eat people and you could be a cannibal too. They have a lot of parasites because pigs don't sweat. So they don't sweat out all that nasty shit. So you could get more fucking shit from that. And it's like, oh yeah, you're cooking it out. Hey man, listen, there's, there's a specific reason. I'm not saying like the Bible's right about everything or it's good or bad, whatever fuck. But what I'm saying is there's reasons actually why you shouldn't eat pork. There's actually reasons, like, it makes fucking sense. Um, some people don't like chicken either, you know, it's like, okay, well, just eat fucking fish, just eat tofu, whatever the fuck you want. Whatever your extreme is, go for it. And if someone says you're an extremist, just be like, I'm just trying to be healthy, I'm just trying to be me, this is what works for my body. Maybe your body's lactose intolerant, maybe you're gluten intolerant, maybe you fucking got diabetes. Everybody's fucking different, man. But a little bit of meditation, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of... Ex Experience, experience is worth a lot more than knowledge. You'll start to go through these phases almost, and you'll 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 start to realize who and what you really are. And once you kind of do that, I know it sounds fucking insane. It does. It's crazy. The world is a lot more real than you might think. You understand that? So I'm just saying, do what's best for you. You know, I'm not gonna say don't ever start smoking. Quit right now. But what I'm gonna say is. I stopped today. I just bought a new vape device. I threw it the fuck out along with along with all the other fucking weed devices, even though they're legal, 100%, but whatever. Got rid of all those too. Um, I kept a couple just because it's like, these were gifts from Dope as Yola. I met him when I went out in um, Houston, Texas. Cool dude, fucking um, shit sick, but like, even Yola, man, he's a cool dude. He's a great guy, but like, He's always been a little bit heavier set, you know what I mean? But do I look at myself and be like, oh, I want to be like that? Like, no, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to smoke every day. I don't want to be heavier set. I'm not saying he's lazy. I'm not saying he's not successful. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. But I don't want to be like that. And that's not everyone that smokes weed is going to become that. But if that's kind of like your influence or what you look up to, that's what you become. You know what I mean? So you don't have to look up to David Goggins and be working out like that every day. But you need to have some kind of balance, you know? But that doesn't mean, oh, I need to have a vice and a virtue. Like, no, get rid of all the bad shit. Get rid of all the bad shit you can and keep all the good shit you can. And even clothing, man. Um, I actually got this from a veteran artist. Shout out to uh, FaZe Line Co. Shout out to all the guys. Sunset Goons, Ray Goons. Shout out to all them. Um, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Just do yourself some justice because that's, that's really how you change the world. You don't have to worry about what other people are doing. Just change yourself. Actually, like authentically change yourself and believe in it and do it every day. And you don't have to do it every day. If you fall off a little bit, it's fine. Don't cry about it. Just be like, you know what? I'm better tomorrow. Today, today wasn't the best day. If you're sad, feel sad. If you're happy, feel happy. But then just be like, you know what? Tomorrow's gonna be better. Or Man, today was a good day. You're not even thinking about tomorrow. And then, you know what I mean? You go to bed happy, you're going to wake up happy. You know what I mean? So it's like, you got to just constantly, you don't have to constantly be happy. But if you're trying, at least you're not going to regret. You know what I mean? So don't have any regrets. Don't live with regrets. Don't live in fear. Fuck that. Um... That doesn't mean just be the fucking wild child, the fucking comedy guy that's always cracking jokes. Man, just be yourself. If that's you, then cool. If other people start copying you, don't be like, hey, you're fucking copying me. Just be like, just be like, yeah, bro, cool, man. Awesome. You know, just let them do them. Let them figure their self out. You know, you don't got to belittle anyone or call anyone out. Just let them do them and you do you and we'll all figure it out. And, you know, we'll go from there. Um, it's hard. Most people don't know who they really are.
You know, I've been trying to find out for a long time, and I think cannabis did kind of help me out with that. I think a lot of things have helped me out with that. But it's more about the experience than just looking it up and being like, oh, it's more about like going on the actual journey and just taking that lonely walk. That's how you do it, you know? trying to get rid of all that bad shit in my life man um you can call it like sins you can call it vices you can be like just obviously it's not good to sit down all day and watch tv obviously it's not good to just fucking it's not good to work out all day you know what i mean like those things are just as bad so pick your fucking poison because you're gonna die so what do you want to die as think about that if you're gonna die what do you want to die as you know and that's how you gotta live. If you just wanna be the greatest motocross rider of all fucking time, the greatest fucking shooter, competition shooter of all time, the greatest fucking movie director of all time, go fucking do it, man. What the fuck are you waiting for? Nobody can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is yourself. Money is an issue in today's world, but that's a first world problem. You're, you're fucking lucky that's your only problem. Money's your only problem? Oh, hell, dude, that's easy. You, you can get water at fucking any building around the fucking corner. That's, you're blessed. You understand that? You're blessed. So if you're like me and you're blessed, I don't know. I, I would just rather make something of myself than wait because no one's coming to save us. You know? And if you can't save yourself, how are you going to save your partner or your kids or your family being your parents, your siblings, your grand? How are you going to do that? You know what I mean? That's why I joined the Marine Corps. I didn't do it to be cool. I didn't do it to be tough. Honestly, it made me more of, like, it made me weaker, I think, joining the Marine Corps. But it also made me more of a team player, you know? It made me want to help more people. And that's why I joined, because I wanted to be like, no one else wants to put their life on the fucking line. Hey, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking, whatever, let's go. And... doesn't really matter but don't worry about bettering yourself and you need to do it all overnight you know but just do it and consistently think about it and then start to slowly add in little things and if you kind of take them away sometimes don't beat yourself up about it because now you're just now you're now you're wasting time, man. Just get back on the, just get back on the fucking train. Just get back on. Just keep going. Just keep going. You fall off, catch the next stop, man. Get back on it. It's going. It's going. Don't worry too much about money. Don't worry too much about love. Don't worry too much about family. Don't worry too much about friends. Just keep going. Now this is me. I'm Sagittarius, right? You guys know. I just keep going. I don't stop. So like, you don't gotta be like me if you're not a fucking Sagittarius. Cool. You wanna fucking cry like a Capricorn Aquarius fucking Pisces Cancer? Go ahead and fucking cry, you little crybaby bitch. But you know what? Listen, that ain't me. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do my shit and learn how to laugh at yourself. So if you are a little crybaby bitch, own that shit. If you're fucking broke, own that shit. If you're in a third world country, hey, listen. Well, uh, prayers out to you, honestly, because that shit's fucking. I don't even know. You probably can't even watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? So start thinking about that. You know, if, if you if you were fucking, like, let's say you're Conor McGregor and you have the rest of the UFC and you know that 95% of the rest of the UFC fucking guys are broke as fuck, but this is their dream. They just want to fight. They just want to fucking, this is what they want to do. And you have all this money. Instead of maybe buying all those mansions and cars and flexing on them, maybe you should be the one that's like, you know what, let me, let me start paying you guys some checks. Let me start taking you guys to camp. Why don't we all train together? We're all family. We're all a community together. No one else knows this job like we do. So why are we fighting each other? Even though we're fighters, after the fight's done, we're family. Right? Same with WWE, right? That shit's, of course, not real, but, like, they're all a family afterwards. And... They don't do it for the money, really. They do it for the entertainment. They do it for the entertainment. So figure out what what it is you want to do. Like I said, I, I want to just do art. I've also been so... I love, like, medicine, art, and just, like, training for fucking war. Those are, like, my things, man. I also like skateboarding. I like shooting. There's a lot of things I like. I fucking like everything. It's hard to not like everything. I mean, 
I don't know, but I'm done smoking. Um, I, I wasn't really a drinker, but like coffee and shit, I'm, I'm not getting back to soda. I'm not getting back to coffee. Tea is like, okay, I fuck with tea, I fuck with tea. But even that, it's like, I'm not doing that every fucking day. Um, and as Americans, we need to size things down, bro. Size things down. Because every American's like, oh, I want more. And it's like, no, nah, bro, relax, relax, relax. You're good, you're good. You fucking got everything as an American. You got it all. Relax, bro. Settle down. Um, I'm going to eat my sandwich and probably watch some movies and figure out what the fuck I'm going to do today. The thing that's great about smoking weed, I will say this, is you go outside and it feels so good. Now it's like the weather's cold, it's mopey, sun's not out, and I can't smoke. But it's like, I also don't need to smoke to be happy. And that's kind of a blessing right there, you know what I'm saying? Not that it's a bad thing, not that it's a good thing. I think it's just depending on how you use it, but if you use it every single day, how is it going to be a medicine rather than just something you're making a habit? You know what I mean? Playing video games. Video games aren't bad. It's just you're playing them 16 hours a day. I'm like, damn. Now, if that's your job, okay, that's one thing. But even then, it's like, what are you really providing for the, for the world? That's your job? Like, that's cool. It's entertainment. You're in the community. But, like, you're not really providing for the world, you know? Now, you could say art's not providing anything for the world. But really, art is history of that time. And history, well, that's all we got. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, um, if you don't like art, fuck you. <laughs> and um, support your fucking military. You understand what I'm saying? If not, well, who else is going to die for you? Anyway, I'm going to keep this one a little bit shorter. Um, happy Halloween. Um, if you don't celebrate Halloween, I don't know what to fucking tell you, man. Um, I think Halloween is technically like the what is it like christmas there's christmas eve christmas day right is it hollow's eve halloween or halloween is hollow's eve i don't remember i think it's hollow hollow's eve and then halloween i don't i don't know i don't fucking know it's been a long time damn my fucking skin feels great see like i take care of myself man i get compliments all the time you smell good you look good you walk fucking so sexy you mm, carry yourself so good it's like thank you thank you but i don't feel like i'm doing enough and I know that feeling, so if you have that feeling, I know exactly what you mean. But that's why it's like, I gotta just, I gotta just be happy with being myself. I don't need any of the other shit, and I don't want my girls to need any other shit when I do finally find that one person who I wanna be my partner. You know what I mean? So. And she's not gonna be in fucking this state. Hell no, fuck this place. All right, anyway, I'm out, I'm Timo Cruz. I'm gonna get back to making art and music and all that trash, and I hope you do some shit that honors your younger self remember your younger self whatever the fuck you wanted to do when you were a kid do that you know what i'm saying anyway i'm out peace one more drink i need one more drink drowning in whiskey let me sink let me be homie let me be do you want one more the fuck you think one more drink i need one more drink drowning in whiskey let me sink let me be homie let me be Asking my heart like how much we need Scotch and bourbon, that's what I like, yeah Tossing and turning, woke up in the night, yeah Why is she always trying to argue and fight, yeah Walk up in the door and she asked you alright, yeah I just need a bottle and maybe a Sprite She said you're drunk, I said please not tonight I never get to do these things that I like So just shut your mouth and please hold me tight You act like my last one and that kind of scares me she said Timo.